We're now in the bunker uh, that we found underneath a Lebanese house in a Shia village only a couple of kilometers from our border. This bunker was ready for Radwan forces, for a battalion of Radwan forces to enter into this bunker and do a raid into Israel and do a larger scale of massacre than the 7th of October. They were planned with the motorcycles here to go to Kiryat Shmona, to Iftach, to villages and uh, positions inside Israel and conduct a massacre. They were only here a couple of days ago. In those beds with those weapons here, we found the fresh coffee and food here in this compound, underneath the Lebanese village, underneath the Shia house. This wasn't supposed to be here. 1701 should have prevented it. We need to impose a 1701, a fully imposed 1701, this area, so Hezbollah can never be next to our border with such infrastructures that can do a conquer Galilee plan like he planned. Hassan Asala, this ruthless terrorist that we eliminated, that is responsible for the deaths of many people, not just Israelis, Germans, Americans, French and others. The world is a better place without Hezbollah. The world is a better place without Nasrallah. Nasrallah thought he understand Israel. He was wrong and he was eliminated. And all our enemies should know, whether they are close or far away in Iran, they should know that we are determined. We are determined to supply security and safety to our citizens. We have only two missions, to bring our citizens back home next to the border in safety and security and to bring back home 101 hostages that are being held in ruthless conditions in Gaza. We are now in a Lebanese village, a Shia village in Lebanon. This village is one of the villages close to the Israeli border. I want to show you a Lebanese house, a Lebanese in a Shia village house, close to our border. Every house is a terror base. I want you to see in your own eyes what we found here today. This is our forces raiding on this village. Come with me. In this house, a storage, a storage of gear, waiting for Hezbollah's Radwan forces, waiting for Hezbollah's Radwan forces, with vests, helmets, night vision, mines you can see here. Already, all of these weapons here were stored and piled in the house, ready for the big raid. The raid plan called Conquer the Galilee. They plan to do a massacre in a larger scale than the 7th of October on northern Israel. And with this gear over here, I want you to see what kind of a gear. You see the hand grenades here? Sniper rifles, extremely high sniper rifles, shooting on our forces, shooting on our civilians from far away. Look at those sniper rifles here. All was ready for the raid. Explosive RPGs here. This is one of the PK fired by the terrorists of Hezbollah on our forces, raiding on this house. This is a terror base. This is a Lebanese village, a Shia village, built by Hezbollah. Every house has gear ready for the raid against Israel, conquer the Galilee plain. 
we are now going a house through house, raiding each and every house, taking all this gear, dismantling Hezbollah's capability to do the conquer Galilee plan. This is what we do. This is a limited, targeted raid on the northern part of Israel, okay, that we are conducting across of the border to take care with the threat that Hezbollah has built for years. This is supposed to be clean here. 1701 prevents those arms here. And we are making sure, imposing, imposing this area to be clean so we can tell our citizens from across the border that have been suffering for nearly a year now. They've been suffering many UAVs, rockets, missiles. We can tell them, you can come home safely and secure. Go back to your homes. We have cleaned the threat of Hezbollah next to your border. This is Southern Lebanon. There are dozens of Lebanese villages along approximately 80 kilometers of the border with Israel. For over 20 years, Hezbollah has deployed its arms such as cruise missiles, rockets, launchers, and explosive UAVs inside civilian homes hidden behind the Lebanese population. Let's look at an example that we identified a few weeks ago. This is a Russian-made DR-3 cruise missile hidden inside of a home. The IDF identified the terrorists making an opening in the building that exposed the missile. We are monitoring these activities, locating the weapons and eliminating them with precise intelligence-based strikes. The IDF is operating and will continue to operate in defense of the citizens of Israel wherever required. What you see here is the IDF's operation to thwart Hezbollah's large-scale attack. We targeted thousands of Hezbollah's rocket launcher barrels whose locations are marked in red. In blue, you can see the 100 IAF fighter jets moving in formation and executing precise strikes deep in southern Lebanon, neutralizing key Hezbollah targets. These actions were crucial in order to prevent an attack that could have devastated millions of Israeli homes and families. We are determined to stop them.